Well, that's a good sign. I'm sure it's going to go swimmingly. Warning, I swear a lot. Welcome back to RimWorld, though today, doing something a little different. We're going to be combining this pedantic, arbitrary, and extremely cruel colony management game with the grim, dark future of Warhammer 40k. I found 40k mods for this game, and I want to, I want to try it. However, I've also been trying to set this up for the past two days or so with no success. So if you see this, it works, I guess. And if it, you don't, then it clearly didn't. And I'm just going to fucking die, I guess. What's the difference between these two other than having one less person? Whatever, we're going Imperial Guard. Now, it's got these, like, chaos-based AI storytellers, and all I can tell is that they're really hard. I will go Chaos Undivided. That seems fun. Adventure story. I'm going to go reload any time in case this fucking thing crashes. Struggle. Yeah, that seems appropriate. Gameplay problems can occur with more than 11 factions. Okay, well, I can fix that then. Um, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need, don't need that. Well, we're not going to have knights and stuff, are we? It wouldn't make... I suppose it could be like an inquisitor kind of thing, or like captains and stuff, or whatever. I don't know. And we'll get rid of the tribes, because that's not going to be a thing. Okay, please work. Oh my god, please work. Two hours later. Yes! Yes, yes! There's a lot of fucking... Is that Tau? There's a lot of Tau on this planet, and a lot of orcs. Look, I suspect this is going to be quite difficult, so I'm going to try and pick somewhere that's actually good and will be helpful. Not the fucking desert, for instance. If we were the Death Corps, then sure, just go for the desert. That's their thing. They love shitholes, but we're not them. I'm going to go on a road next to a river. That's what I want. Although I have to care, be careful of how it's positioned because I don't want the road and river taking up the whole map. That's pretty good. Temperate forest. Average temperature is 6.5 degrees Celsius with minus 10 to 23 and we're near we're near the towel <laughs> it'll be okay we've got it it'll be fine oh vicky straight up wants to bang aliens cool good for you vicky viv needs to go because greedy really you want people with standards in the imperial guard no you fucking don't i don't really know what is and isn't going to be a priority here all i can do is just kind of oh, he's 50 years old he's 50 years old in the imperial guard he must be a fucking unit she's 40 that's impressive Considering she's, well, she's not really a combatant, is she? She's probably more like support stuff. But whatever. This should be fine. Although she's Vicky's sister. I think I'd kind of prefer that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll bounce out the genders a bit more. I'm assuming we can't get, like, tanks. We could get artillery because the mortar exists. But I'm assuming we're not going to be building layman rusts or basilisks or anything like that. I'd settle for a sentinel. Sentinels are cool. This is the same. Oh, ho, ho. oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, so this intro part is going to be really fucking boring while I, you know, actually... F oh, wow, that's... Oh, that's lagging a little bit. Oh, no. Can I do something about that? Nope. Whatever. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. It'll be fine. All right, so there's going to be a boring intro sequence wherein I, you know, sort things out and I'll cut things out accordingly. Okay. Oh, there's a lot here. That, well, there's the standard shit, obviously, and this is all near enough the same, as far as I can tell. Mortars will be useful, for sure. Astra Militarum. It's the Imperial Guard, man. It's not fucking Astra Militarum. That shit's dumb. If you call it the Astra Militarum, that's dumb. It's the fucking Imperial Guard. Don't give me that shit. But there's a lot of research to do. Oh, wow. Sub-tabs. Power weapons. Special weapons. There's a lot here. Iron Halo, Rosaria, Storm Shit. Wait, can I make Space Marines? Because some of this shit is straight up just Space Marine weaponry. I wouldn't blame the modders if they didn't make, like, power armor, because that could be quite difficult to implement. However, if they did, that'd be fucking sick. Power armor, there it is, power armor. Allows you to create Imperial power armor. Carapace for scouts, and then straight up Marine armor. Wow. And then, of course, you can go into the other fucking tech trees if you prefer. We could go orcish culture and have shooters and sluggers and grot blasters and boom master snaz wagons. We probably can't have snaz wagons, but you know what I mean. Yeah, no, that's all here. Big mech brains. Should be called big thinking. Because it's big thinking. And autopsies, where we can apparently autopsy things. Don't know what the benefit is, but that's cool. We can't do research right now. I don't know why I wasted my time. Well, the wildlife is still quite not robots. Oh yes, I can have robots. We don't have any animals. Is that all? That's standard medicine. Okay. 
Oh god, oh, I don't know where to begin. Alright, I guess I should start by building some kind of settlement, yes? Some kind of settlement, that would work. There's two wrecked buildings here I could probably make use of. I could probably convert this into some kind of, like, command center or crafting area, but... The first priority, I think, would be to have some kind of living area. That probably comes first. Security, barricades is new. Sturdy Imperial barricades that provide cover from gunfire. Perihelion pattern, I actually don't know what that is. I don't know everything about 40k, just a lot of things. But everyone knows a lot of things about 40k because there are a lot of things to know. You know? Yeah, you know. Paradox Poker. Every Saturday night, without fail, the Emperor Zeech Kegarak and the Deceiver get together with drinks and snacks and sit down to enjoy another thrilling game of Paradox Poker. I, d I dig it. Temperature? Okay, it's all fairly standard thus far. We've just got here, and we haven't even started researching yet. We're really going to need to get started on research because there's a lot to do there. Uh, What the fuck is this? Adamantium? Motherfucker, we can be getting adamantium. It's, uh, it's dope. Fuck, man. I'm paralyzed by indecision. Give me a minute. I want this to be a whole thing. Like, I don't want to just skip to the action bits because that's kind of not what RimWorld is. You know, there's a whole process here. But on the other hand, a lot of this is going to be shit you've seen a million times before and I don't want to waste your time. So it's going to be a little difficult. I'll do my best. It's all up to future me, really. It's in, it's in his hands. He's going to have to handle it. Get some nice rooms going. Oh, that's just fucking lovely. And then one door. And we need four. We should build with that in mind, because that'll be damn useful when we can utilize it. Because I don't think we have access to uh, power... Uh, geothermal power yet. No, we don't. Okay, yeah, so that one needs to be a thing. But geothermal power, useful thing to just fucking have, you know? And we're also going to want to set people to hunting, not because it's the most efficient form of food gathering at any given time, because it varies, but because we want people getting practice with their guns. Because I get the distinct impression we're going to be under attack a lot. So we want to make sure everyone's combat ready. Everyone with a gun at the very least is combat ready. Can't do anything for the melee guys, but better than nothing. Set them up some barracks. It's good. Oh, you love to see it. That's nice. Uh, wooden door. Bonk. Bonk. And not that it really matters, but... It will just speed them up a little bit. The ability to move faster really does make a difference. Our storage area is a bit far away, but it's not too bad. It's okay. Hey, don't worry about it. I hear you over there worrying about it, and I recommend that you don't. Whoops. Okay, well, now they can actually get started, because well, we're going to need to do something. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there, Jesus. Oh, God, I didn't set them schedules. Ah, okay, you're the Imperial Guard, so you get two hours of recreation, because you need to be on it at all times, okay? I can't have you guys faffing around, not doing your work. Fuck, well, whoops, uh, nah, that's okay. I'm figuring it out, I'm figuring it out, I'm figuring it out. It's okay, it's okay. You're a miner, you're a hauler and cleaner and later on researcher and cry. Oh God, we're gonna need more people for sure. Well, who ever heard of a fucking Imperial Guard fortification with four guardsmen in it? And some of these people I wouldn't even say are actually guardsmen, they're more like support staff. But get going, get started and we'll figure things out from there. He's cutting wood, that's good. And as she mines that out, we'll have more space for more storage. And it all works out, you see. It's a very good strategy devised by a very smart man. I really ap apologize for the frame drops, but to be fair, I guess I was having trouble even getting this working in the first place. I'm not too surprised that it's kind of lagging a little bit. I swear to you, by the end of this, we will have turned this into a proper Imperial Guard fortification. It will be real, it will be intense. And those fucking chaos douchebags will not get in. I promise you. Yes, wooden. Why would I waste anything more valuable on a bed for guardsmen? They're fucking guardsmen. They're here to do a goddamn job, and that's to guardsmen. Okay, I forgot how inconsistent the music is in this game, so I'm just gonna, like, turn it off and I'll edit in my own music. I'll go a little more easier on it than I did before, because last time I was like, what's really gonna fit the mood of this situation? Now I'll, just, I'll put something over the back of it, just so that there's something. Because I, when I went to start recording this again, I was like, why did I always cut off the music and put music over this? Because the music's like really good. It's not as if the music's bad or anything. And I realized, oh, because it stops playing music for like five minutes at a time and it gets really fucking dry and you're recording and you're like, well, now it's extremely silent and I have to fill space sometime. Somehow, sometime, I don't know, man. I, I, I put so much fucking work into setting this up. I actually don't know what to do now that I'm here. I'm just doing it. 
Which is really the way to do it, to be honest. I've been very excited to do this because, fuck, I love 40k. And I love RimWorld. It's the end of day one and no one has a fucking bed, so we've done a good job, really. Vicky needs a weapon of some kind. Uh, even if we get her a bow and arrow, it's better than a bare fucking hand, isn't it? Tribal cloak? What the hell's a tribal cloak? A full body garment crafted using Neolithic tools. While it may look primitive, primitive it is effective at insulating the wearer. Is this because normal tribesmen can't fucking create anything clothing-wise, and um, it's really hard to keep them warm during the winter? Because that's a really good idea if that's why they've included that. But like I said, a fucking short bow will be better than nothing. It just gives Vicky a weapon. If a fucking orc comes charging in, <laughs> I'd rather be able to fire my range. A uniform shirt worn by the soldiers of the IG. Wait, so this isn't even armor. I thought this was like standard Imperial Guard armor, but no, it's literally just a uniform. So, so they've got no armor. That's good. Happy with that. Okay, well, I'm not seeing any ceramite, which is pretty funny. But whatever. That's fine. I'll work it out. The world eaters. Angron's here. I mean, obviously not. It's two box Babor. There's a Chaos Lord here rather than the Primarch, but still, that's scary. Prospero Spire Guard, so what, like, a thousand sons? Fucking traitor legion, traitor guard, that's cool. If slash when a million fucking orcs or chaos or, or tyranids or something show up, I want to make sure she has her wooden short bow, which will allow her to really give him something to think about. Or is that mad hair? Actually, there it is. Get ready to shoot at it. Get ready to shoot at it. Get ready to shoot at it. That's a good pistol. I mean, he missed most of the shots, but still. Oh, wow. Good. I'm not impressed. And you've hurt yourself. You've been hurt by a rabbit. Yo, Atrium, bruv, we're going to be having to fight like orcs and stuff. I'm going to need you to get grip. For real. Why was there a big thump? It was like a big kaboom. It was an earth-shattering kaboom. What the fuck was that? <laughs> There was no noise, it was just a great screen shook. And I knew that mean a kaboom. I hope these guys all become friends, because they're gonna need to. Yeah, they're all friends and stuff. Vicky has a husband, good for her. Oh yeah, throw a pie, why not? Yeah, that's what the guards do. They're all guardsmen pie. I've never read that. I don't know what it is, actually, really. I only know about it for Adeptus Ridiculous. But I didn't actually watch the episode, I haven't got around to it yet. So I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's the end of my story. Oh, his roof's been made. Okay, that's good. Oh, Dead's not happy. What, what's wrong with you, Dead? What, what's your problem? Uh, everything sucks. Yeah, I suppose it does. Is this what you came here to see? Imperial Guardsmen farming? Because it's necessary. There we go. Another house built. But it doesn't have a bed in it. So, fuck. Why didn't you focus on the one with the bed in it? Good God, man. Just finish one building. That's all we need. Just finish a building instead of leaving them half done and working on another one. That is a frustrating thing about these guys, is that they don't prioritize very well. And you can kind of do it manually, but like, say for instance, I wanted him to finish this building. If I wanted him to finish this building and focus on doing that, regardless of whether it's currently work time or not, I would have to have him... I'd have to prioritize one. He'd do that floor. Then I'd have to prioritize that wall. Then that wall. Then that wall. Then that wall. That wall. And I'd have to keep doing it and keep watching him until he did it all. Which is frustrating. <laughs> And half the time you're like, I can't be bothered, just fucking, he'll get around to it when he gets to it, whatever. Which is not really the spirit of things, but you get annoyed. <laughs> you're just like, just get on with it. I don't care. I shouldn't have to micromanage you that hard. You've almost done it, man. Oh, Jesus Christ, you've practically finished a building. Good, good, very good. And finally, and this is the coup de grace, the big touch. Little plant pot, little, little, little plant pot. There we go. That'll make everyone very happy. They'll be very pleased with this. Oh, another spacecraft. Jesus Christ, tons of these. Wow, this is good. Oh, I like this. The game's being nice to me. We'll see how long that lasts. Shouldn't take, yeah, it shouldn't take it too long to clean all the dirt and stuff, and then she'll be able to start researching, which we should probably pick, by the way. Um, hang on. Yeah, research project. What do we need <laughs> is the main question. What do we really need right now? Because it's... I'll tell you what we really need right now, actually, want. What we really, really want, zig zig ah, is actually geothermal power. Because that will give us constant high amounts of power, and then everything else will be just so much easier. It's going to take a long time, but hey, we've got plenty to do anyway, so who cares? Galeatrin, you better be building, I swear. Oh, I'm going to get real angry with you. 
I'm gonna get really angry with you, you handsome little bastard. Hey, she's started the research. Oh boy, we're gonna get that geothermal power in fucking no time. Oh no. Oh, Almadon, you're trying to try to try it on. Just tried to woo Vicky by comparing her to a canyon. Canyon. I don't think that's very good. <laughs> that's not the best. It's okay. Doesn't she have a family? Yeah, she has a husband. <gasps> but she's one of she. Oh, her husband's a traitor legionary or a traitor guardsman. That's no good. And apparently has an annoying voice. Yes. She's more interested in aliens anyway. What we could actually do with, it just occurred to me, is uh, a prison. A prison would be useful, but we can cheap out on the prison because who cares. If we make it a nice room, they'll be more likely to join us quicker and we'll just waste less time on this crap. Although that is tiny, so that's probably not going to be a very nice place, but whatever. Doing my best. They still haven't finished Vicky's room, for Christ's sake. She really got the short end of the stick, didn't she? She turned up on a hostile planet with like four different Xenos races and multiple traitor legions, and she's armed with a fucking short bow, and, and I can't even give her a goddamn fucking roof over her head. Anything bigger than a raccoon is fair game that's not going to hit us back. Did you just try and woo him in return? What is with you two? You two are weird. They're trying on with each other and then both of you are like, no, actually, I don't want to... Oof. Yeah, that's a long distance between our cooking area and our fucking story. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that's not what you want. That's going to go really slow because the area's not lit. Because we can't get the power over there yet. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, Jiminy Cricket Batman. This, this, there's a lot to do and not nearly enough time to do it in. And not nearly enough hands to do it with. I hate conduits because they make things look so fucking messy. Ah. Oh. Give our faction a name. Faction a name. Well, we are the Imperium. What is this planet called? It was called Struggle. <laughs> I think it was literally well, the seed was called Struggle, which in my mind makes that the name of the planet. I need a name though. I need a name for our for our regiment. I'll be back. Astra Militarum Army Name Generator. Perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> the Typhus Mechbacks. Not bad. The dropship irregulars of Zanu, no. Devil Blades of Macras, no. Etocrete Desert Riders, no. Sidlin Royal Scions, no. Tolkien Black Shields, not bad. The Lightning Shields of Ranas, no. Urban Dogs of Magdus, I'd rather it be short and sweet, to be honest. I've flicked through about 20 names and they're not great because they're all way too long. Yeah, you know, oh, I was thinking, like, you know, this is doing, like, the something-somethings of something-something, but I was thinking more like, you know, the 85th Cadian, like, number, location, is of origin. It's kind of what I was going for when it came to, like, a, a Imperial Guard Regiment. That's what I wanted. I'm just gonna nick a real one, okay? I'll just steal a real regiment. The 7th Cartigian, that'll do. That'll do. That's cool. I like that. There we go, Riverwatch. That'll do. It's nice and simple. We don't- it doesn't need to be too fancy. It will do. We are the 7th Cartesian. I like it. That's cool. Happy with that. That is as fancy as I need it to be. Which is to say, not very. It's interesting though, I don't know how often Imperial Guardsmen tends to do like survivalist shit where they have to live in the middle of nowhere with like no supplies or anything. And it's like, I don't know how often Imperial High Command is just like, yes, go set up a base here. Build it from scratch. And it's like, but we're, gu we're guardsmen. We're, we guard. We don't, we don't build. We guard. Then again, are you going to talk back to a fucking commissar? No. No, you're not. How much of that research have we done? 22! Oh! <laughs> we need more people. But well, we're never going to get this done. We're not even going to get to standard ballistics, let alone, like, Imperial ballistics. Oh my god. It does require power, but... That's neat. That's damn it. Why haven't you finished that yet? Almaden, Almaden, stop. Just connect it for fuck's sake. I bet people have seen that and had a fucking aneurysm and God knows I am right now. Just do it. Dumbass. Do it. There we go. Oh my God, now there's actually power flowing through it. Would have built the whole fucking base before he connected that last conduit to the goddamn turbine. He still hasn't finished Vicky's room. 
It's still not fucking walled. Alvedon, what the fuck are you doing? Damned plea. Okay, well, Galeatrin clearly had... What? Are those two related? Hold up. Really? Social. This is the way to find out, yes. Sister is dead. Well, no, not dead. Oh, that's his dad. Who's... Oh, well, you know, technically younger than him, but has been in cryosleep for God knows how. That's strange. So we've got a father and son and two sisters. That's the Imperial Guard, ladies and gentlemen. It's like a fucking box full of hamsters. Oh yeah, that reminds me, Almaden, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, stop. Do that. Do that first. Get her a fucking roof. She's pretty chipper considering she doesn't have a roof. You motherfucker. Just do one part of that wall. Keep going. Did I tell you to stop? Did I imply for a moment that you would you were to stop doing that? No. I didn't. There we go. Now now do it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. There we go. Oh, it's so much better. Oh, everything's better now. Oh my god, fucking finally. Jesus Christ, you stupid bastard. I can't believe you. God damn it. Why is that wall dead? I think dead shy while she was hunting a fucking rabbit or something. Just fucking shot the wall. Time to speed this up. There's gonna be a lot of cutting in this fucking video. Well, that's gonna take a million years. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe I'm focusing on the wrong things. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to make them comfortable. Maybe I should be trying to get them prepared. The food's important, and technological progress is important, and crafting is going to be important. And they need somewhere to sleep, and they need somewhere to eat. They need somewhere to keep their stuff, and we need the ability to keep this area cold so that the food doesn't go off. So, there's a lot I do have to do. As frustrating as it is to do, those two are still flirting to no avail. So they're just pissing each other off, I guess. I don't know how it's looking for you guys, but I'm... Over an hour in, <laughs> nothing's happened. <laughs> it's literally just been a normal game of RimWorld with a slightly different coat of paint. <laughs> I suppose I could have picked a more aggressive storyteller, but I did pick Chaos Undivided, so it would just be Chaos, with a higher leaning towards um, violence. But then again, the game does give you a grace period. Oh fucking god yes, fight, oh god yes, oh. The 85th. They did that thing. What the fuck is she wearing? Just flak armor with no trousers. Okay, yeah, I do see how that might make her look kind of like a stripper. We've got 800 silver. We've got money to play with. Surely... I mean, if they're selling steel at this point, I'll take it. But it's an exotic goods trader, so somehow I don't think that's what they're going to be peddling. Okay, they've got... Boomalopes. That's nice. Components, don't care. Advanced components, well, I'll need that later, but I don't care right now. Tech print for jump packs, can't afford it. Psychic Sooth pulses, never really found a need for them. Shield core, no. A liver, in case we need that. Psy trainers, we don't have any psychers, so moot. Wow, they really don't have anything useful at all. Fuck. Oh, let's get comfy, Foreman. This is gonna take a while. Let's start getting a little bit of a stockpile of Glitter World medicine, but what we'll do is we'll assign all these guys to industrial medicine because they don't- we, that's what we have more of, and they don't need Glitter World. Not unless we're doing operations or some shit, or if we're truly out of medicine and someone is dying of a fucking illness. It may seem weird for me to prioritize these kind of things, like a fucking mess hall and whatever, but at the end of the day, I really need these guys to be doing their jobs all the time. I can't afford to have people breaking. And that means small things, like making sure they have somewhere to sit when they eat. Very small things, it all adds up over time. Uh, Almadon, I don't want to fucking... I don't want to be a pedants, mate, but maybe that extremely expensive medicine should go inside? Yes. Yes, it should. I, I presented it like it was a question. It was not. Get the fucking medicine inside. Because <laughs> we just really need them to kind of speed up a little bit. There are a lot of things that need to be done, and instead of everything being done, we've got multiple projects that aren't finished. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. We really need steel more than anything, but I can't really spare anyone to go mining. I... S I suppose Vicky could, but she's really, really bad at it. No, everyone's doing what they need to do. It's because they need to do it. There's no two ways around it. That fucking power of wind turbine is generating a lot of power that we're not fucking using. 
because we didn't have enough steel to get the fucking power conduits to go everywhere because I decided to start building steel floors because I can't bring myself to build wood floors outside. It makes no sense to me and I won't do it. I don't care if it's optimal. I'm sure it is optimal, but I'm not doing it. It doesn't look right. Who has wood flooring outside? That's... That's ludicrous. That's crazy pants. That's nonsense. That's stupid. I'm not doing that. They're leaving, which is a shame because they were kind of protecting the place. Oh well. Of course, all their muffalo left a massive fucking mess, so that's cool. Happy with that. Thanks, guys, you dicks. A mad squirrel. Oh, Jesus Christ, something happened. Shoot it. That was good. That was good. Sh oh, he took it the fuck out. Hey, Galeatra, not bad. Not bad. We'll make a guardsman of you yet, lad. With your shooting skill of four, he has some familiarity with shooting. And he's in the Imperial Guard. He's 120 years old. Judging by the fact that he has a kid, he probably has quite a bit of experience with shooting if you catch my drift. I think I'm being a bit optimistic in terms of these numbers, but uh, at least we'll be prepared. Hey, the prison's done. That's cool. It's still an awful room, apparently, but... I'm doing my best, man. I'm doing my best. I'm curious, actually. Before you go to bed, deconstruct that, because if it turns out it has steel in it, then I'm going to prioritize having him do that, because we desperately need steel and can't afford to send anyone mining. This is a shame, because there's a fuck ton of compacted steel on this, but five. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Twenty steel. Oh, Jesus. Dear G Jiminy Cricket. Fuck. Jeez, man. That's... Well, boy, that's a whole bunch of steel. <sighs> fuck. We'll get there, we'll get there. Hey, research has come along, let's have a look at that. It's 239, that's pretty good. That's pretty good after being here for like, what, two months? Days past his arrival, so, what, it's only been a week? Oh, <laughs> I thought it had been a lot longer than that. It felt like a lot longer than that. It requires 80 ingredients, so fuck me, but... Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I thought I said wood. I was like, are you just gonna make a cloak out of wood? I'm losing it, I've been here for an hour and a half, doing nothing. Hello, a quest. I like quests. A Baroness of the White Imperium is calling from nearby. Her guards have killed in an ambush. She escaped, but is now being followed by a cat. <laughs> uh, wants to keep her safe for a few hours, and then she will bestow a honor on whoever accepts. Okay, so who would be the most suitable? Aggressive, cinephile, tough, super immune, beautiful brawler. I mean, that's a pretty good shout. He sounds like a fucking noble already. A fast learner, slowpoke, ugly kind. It would be between Vicky and Almaden, and to be honest, I think Almaden's probably the most suitable. So let's go with that. She shows up. It's not as if we actually have to be like a host for her or anything. She just has to survive and then she'll leave. Because the cat will follow along shortly from where she came from. I think. Probably. I don't know. We've got other people to deal with it, I suppose. Imperial Guard! Fucking your greatest challenge, yeah, is something that just comes straight from Katachan, definitely. Katachan, <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even think of that, Jesus Christ. Uh, so fucking stupid. Get it! Get it! Take it out! It's coming straight for you, it's coming straight for you. It's coming straight for you, that good. Wow! That's a strong cat. Target practice? Oof. She doesn't get any practice for shooting at a downed creature. Dead, for God's sake, just get rid of it. Dead, I swear. Just kill it. De dead. Oh my God, fine. I've got a better idea. Jesus Christ, just fucking... Use your fucking knife. Oh my God. <laughs> Shit's embarrassing. Oh my God, he's nearly finished the mess hall. Jesus Christ. To be fair, for one dude, you know, that's an entire building that he practically builded. Builded. Yeah. That's the word. No, I'm not going to change it. Builded. So that's pretty impressive. There we go. Now, Tiazus, Tiazus. Fuck off, would you? You're getting in the way. Say bye, you're dead, and leave. He's a freeholder now. That's very good. And we can make him a human. Fucking may as well. It doesn't require- it doesn't have throne room requirements, so let's just get him a psychic power. Although, now we're gonna have to set him up with some sort of psychic situation. These guys don't look like Imperial Guard, and that's because they're not. 
Well, this would be like Cataphrax, wouldn't it? This would be like fucking Scions. Segmentum, guys, whatever. And this is basically fucking Malkador the Sigilite who's come to give us psychic powers. There we go. It was an honorable one. Hey, that's pretty good. He needs a meditation spot now. What, what skills do you have? He can skip rocks. Do they know it's Christmas time? Meditation time per day. We'll say to, uh, to do that. He can get up early. I ain't fucking giving him privileges just because he's a fucking noble. You can get on with it. There we go. The mess hall's done. That took way too long and was probably not worth it. But it's done and we'll be happy for it in the future. That guy's from the 85th Canadian Regiment. Well, he does have a last... Oh, fuck, actually, thinking about it. It's a dude in, like, a cloak and a bowler hat with some flak armor and flak greaves. And he's got a last pistol. That's a fucking commissar. <laughs> fucking, he can go wherever he wants. Either a commissar or an inquisitor. Just leave him alone. Just let him do what he wants. Hope to God he doesn't stop to inspect the place. Let's see what we have available to us. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting anything crazy. Yeah, nah, stick with the cloaks. Cloaks would be good. It'll be like a Gaunt's Ghost, you know, they got the fucking cloaks. They look cool. We like stealth troops, except we have a really big fucking place that you can clearly find that's not really obscured in any way, shape, or form. So, whatever. One mad prisoner. Anna Angelos, a of the White Imperium, has been caught in bed with the wrong person. She imprisoned the inappropriate, and now she wants you to keep him for 18 days. Our rewards are pathetic. And we'd be wasting food. <laughs> Do I even want this? This seems in... I don't care about honor. Psy powers aren't that great. Plus, it's not as if we have a throne room right now anyway, so... I mean, we've got eight days to decide whether or not we want to do that, which we'll is leave it for now. Honestly, the best reward I could get from that mission would be to recruit the prisoner, but that would piss off the Imperium, so we should probably not do that. You know what just occurred to me? We, we've been out of steel for ages, and, like, we don't have any steel. If he had disassembled these fucking walls, we would have had steel. We would have had steel. We would have had steel. But he didn't do that, and he still hasn't done that, and he's probably not going to do that, and he could disassemble that one as well, and he's not going to do that, is he? Because he's a bell end. God damn you, Ab. I keep forgetting his name is Almaden. God damn you, Almaden. I hate you. Well, that makes my OCD better. But I don't have OCD, so it's kind of moot. We're just a little listening post at the moment, you know? We, 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 uh, you know? Ah, oh, fuck it, man. I think the the annoying part about this being a 40k mod is that you forget that it is RimWorld, and therefore it is very slow, and that's not a bad thing. But Jesus Christ, when I went to record this, I was expecting a bit more whoosh laser kapows, and, and it hasn't happened. In the grim dark future, there is only resource and colony management. I am enjoying this. I should really clarify, I am enjoying this, and I love the fact that this is a 40k mod, and I'm working with 40k stuff, you know. I'm enjoying myself. I'm not... I'm not suffering here or anything like that. It's just... Shit, dude. This is going to be a really long video if we want anything interesting to happen. Once again, I'm happy. I'm not bothered. Really, I'm not. I just worry for how the video is going to turn out because it's going to be kind of fucking garbage. <laughs> it's just going to be you guys listening to me play RimWorld normally while nothing happens. But that's okay. It's actually okay. A big important part of this channel is to do whatever the fuck I want, and I'm having a good time. So, if you're having a good time, I'm delighted to hear it. But if no one's watching this, if no one has made it this far, and I'd be really fucking surprised if anyone did make it this far, that's fine. That is genuinely fine. Not everything is everyone's cup of tea, and some things are barely anyone's cup of tea, and this will be one of them. But you do what you want to do, and you got to do what you want to do, because you got to do what you want to do. And what you want to do becomes what you got to do. So you got to do it, you know? Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm on about. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I know. I know that you know. And you know that I know. That I know that you know. Because you and me, we're knowers. We know things. Do we drink? Well, it depends on your personal preference. But we do know things. And that's, uh, that really... That really says it all, doesn't it, really? When you think about it. It really does just kind of say it all. What's more is there to be said? Nothing. Whoops, those are paved tiles. <sighs> <Fuck. laughs> I 
I'm so fucking stupid. God damn it. Why do I... Ah. Oh. No, I cancelled the deconstruction. Oh. 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 No. Oh. And it, it's a good thing to... Because even though, yes, concrete looks shitter, this would have looked awful if it had been, like, paved tiles, concrete. Like, it sticks to one or the other unless you're going indoors. What was I saying? Yes, we're knowers, you and I. We know. We do know. And you know that I... No, because I told you, and we've discussed this previously, back when things were shinier and I didn't fuck up the flooring. Yeah, we knew. And we know now. Cool. Well, that's just wasted a whole bunch more still. It may seem weird what I'm doing, but I do this to section off areas so that I can plan future buildings and growing areas and such better. By having things outlined with flooring, not only does that, of course, mean that people will move faster when exiting and entering these areas, but it also provides an outline to each building. I won't typically put two buildings smooshed against each other, but if I don't have a lining like this, I'll make an arbitrary decision on how far away is far away enough. So by doing it this way, this area, for instance, is now set up. Yes, of course, it's going to have the power the geothermal power generator, but there's a bunch of other space to work with here that I can use. I'll probably outline the power generator with concrete and then work on this area accordingly, and the same goes down here. Now, I'll probably expand in this direction or something, and I've got the outlines in place. See, now I realize, of course, that I have to expand that main walkway because otherwise this isn't going to look right. It's not going to look right. It's not going to look right. It's not going to look right. Now it's fine. And now it's raining. And it, there's a fire. At least it started raining when there was a fire. It started firing when there was a rain. That was pretty good. Cargo pods. Oh, we could do with that. Oh, God, we could do with that. Oh, drugs. Sure, we could do with more drugs. Why not? Get some drugs. Cool, drugs are good. Well, that's not very useful, but it is interesting. But it's past the... <laughs> it's past the fucking towel camp. You want us to go past the cow, pa ca pa cow, pa towel camp all the way through these difficult terrain hills to go get an animal skill trainer. I'd love to do something interesting, but that's just not logical. That's not a smart thing to do. Uh, that's a big no. The answer is big no. There is no reason to do that. It would be beyond foolish. Because you know the moment I choose to do that, of course, chaos will attack the fucking settlement or something. You know that's what's going to happen. God damn, that's a bright room. Jesus Christ, holy shit, that hurts my eyes. <laughs> wow. And it actually lights outside of the fucking building because it's so bright. Oh my god. Suspicious amount of the Xenos weaponry you've got there, my friend. Bosley and another desperate refugee are approaching. They say they were banished from their town due to moral disagreements. They want to stay for 18 days. We could really do with more people. Uh, this doesn't have. This is no longer a prison. <laughs> Funnily enough. Uh, I mean, fuck it. First of all, just go normal play and then accept because we're going to need the help. If either of them can has any skill in construction, he does. They both do. He's a wimp, but we can we can manage that. He's a fast walker, so it's okay. More of a more of a you know, he's support staff, not not a proper combatant. He's good. He's really good. Tasker is amazing. But here's what we'll do. Because Almaden's the best constructor we've got. He's very, very good at building. So we'll have him on doing that on full. And these two can focus on cleaning and hauling. And then when they're through with focusing on cleaning and hauling, then they can construct. And you should probably focus on handling in case we get animals. Good. Okay, good. All right, good. Okay, good. Now, one of them's already got a bed. I'll give that to Roab because he's apparently quite a cheerful fellow. And we'll build Roa Bosley a building. We'll build him a house. It won't take long because we've got people on it. We can't make Imperial Guard uniforms, so we're just going to have to make him fucking pants and button down shirt. That'll do for now. There's a balance because we don't want to give them too much shit, but we do want to give them something so that they're happy, so that they'll want to stay. But with those two here, that means Vicky can focus entirely on research. I'm not seeing a lot of work being done on this, guys. What's the deal? Because it's too busy focusing on the fucking footpaths. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm having fun. I actually am. Just holy shit. Get a grip, guys. It's starting to annoy me. Oh, they're just going to do the floors first. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. My stupid system. My really stupid system. 
These Bosley and Rob, uh, Rob, 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 we'll call him Rob. At least Bosley and Rob are doing stuff. This, this is exactly what we needed, but we need to get to the point where we're actually making some half decent guns. So that we actually, you know, got people who will do shit in a fight. Because even Vicky's just using a bow still. Probably upgrade to a recurve bow, but it's still just a fucking bow. That's a lot of work for not a lot of gain. They still haven't finished the floor in there, for Christ's sake. Oh, my soul. Oh, it hurts. It really hurts. What's the floor here like? What is that? A soil. How did I miss that? So many people play this game and like record it or stream it. But the thing is, it's actually quite hard to, to record or stream this game because it's a game that is very interesting to the person who's playing. Less so, I imagine, to the people who are watching. What, do we not have power conduits up there? No, we don't. Well, gonna have to wait. I'll do it later. I guess, as painful as it's gonna be, we're really gonna want to focus on microelectronics so we can get a high-tech research bench and then make everything much faster, but my god, is that gonna take a long time? If we had multiple researchers, that wouldn't be so bad, but she's the only one who's really half-decent at researching. At least she's getting better at it. She's good, she's just one person, that's the only problem. Yeah, that may be an awful bedroom, but it must feel pretty good compared to what Bosley's got. <laughs> Why does he stay up so late? There's literally no reason why he stays up so late, he just does. Unless he's got... A gastroanalyte, I don't know what... <sighs> I don't know what half... Oh, he's using Wake Up, that's why. Oh, he's been using the Wake Up, I see. That makes a lot more sense. Not complaining, actually. He's getting a lot more work done. Poor Giliatron, I think he's completely thrown his sleep cycle out of whack because now he's going to bed at like 6 in the morning. That's not good, man. You don't want to do that. I've had bad sleep cycles in the past. They're really hard to break out of. For some reason, the Great Imperium has not really researched Pemkin. Alright, fine. Simple meals will do. Fuck it. Whatever. Whatever. I hear explosions. Which means things are happening, just not here. <laughs> Anything interesting happening is happening far away from here, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing going on here. We're just making a nice little settlement. Getting all of our basic necessities sorted out. It's nice. Vicky is doing her utmost to research an entire geothermal power plant, but as it turns out, it's actually quite difficult. Who'd have thunk <laughs> that such a thing might be quite tricky and take a lot of time. But once we get it... That's a lot of power. And she'll be able to research other shit, which will help us immensely. What can we actually work with here? Smelter, not really needed. Crematorium, that will probably become quite handy. I've never used nutrient paste dispensers and hoppers and stuff because apparently people really don't like eating it. I suppose I could get electronic tailor bench, but only after the geothermal power thing, I think. That would probably be sensible. Nah, all we can really do for now is just keep as we are and just keep sort of we're basically waiting for that uh, geothermal shit. Until that's done, there's not a lot to do. I suppose actually, yes, there is something we can do. Something that would actually help a lot, and that would be to get power down here. Gut worms. Cool, great, we have diseases now. Excellent, that's what I wanted. We've barely even started using components yet. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, how long have I been here? 13 days, nearly two weeks, and it's been... Two and a half hours. Oh. Oh, so little has happened. And if I can turn this into a proper freezer, then we'll be fine. Oh, so that's a point. That's a thing I could do, actually. Set up a second storage area to hold raw materials closer to everything else. That's something I could actually do. Yes, sir. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. That would be a good shout. Although, having done that, I may have just slowed down the process of turning this into a freezer. Maybe I should have done that first. Uh, I, I jump ahead of myself too much. I, I stack things too much and then they don't prioritize and then they get halfway through doing both and then usually run out of resources and then I'm stuck with two things that aren't done and I keep doing this I don't learn because learning's for chumps 
Roab doesn't need a ranged weapon right now. If I'm gonna have these fucking refugees, I'm not giving them proper weaponry until they actually agree to join, because sometimes they turn on you. And I just don't need that. We can't afford to lose anyone. Because we need someone cleaning constantly, because, for instance, the fucking cooking area, the command center, whatever you want to call this, is fucking filthy. And that's not good. We don't need... Uh, uh, food poisoning on top of everything else. We've got enough problems. We're struggling to keep up with what we're doing as it is. Bosley, I'm actually gonna really ask that you prioritize that room. Ah, who did this man flirt with? Vicky- Oh, they're both competing for Vicky by exaggerating his own weight? <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, you know, that's a good thing to lead with. It's like, hey, girl, I'm dick. She's like, do you mean- No, I mean, I'm literally thick. I'm a chunky boy. <laughs> you gotta respect that. Two degrees, one degrees. That should keep that room relatively cool. Yeah, straight up. Cool. I'll probably keep dead on cooking for another day, because we, you know, we've got gut worms in the fucking settlement, so we do need more food. But once that's done, We'll be able to hold on to our food almost indefinitely, and once Vicky gets done with that geothermal power plant and we get it installed, we'll have the power for it, and we can, I don't know, start moving into other shit. I've kind of just abandoned, in my brain, I've kind of abandoned the whole, like, grim dark future there is only war kind of mentality, and I'm just focused on building stuff up and just generally making a fucking settlement. And you know what? It's fun. I like it. It's enjoyable. It's kind of what the whole fucking game is. And I forgot and then remembered how much I like it. It's enjoyable. Maybe not to watch. I fucking guarantee it's not enjoyable to watch, but it's fun to play. That's why everyone loves playing RimWorld. Watching it? I mean, I enjoy watching RimWorld, but I'm a strange person. <laughs> Straight up. So, you know, I can't imagine this is for everyone. Then again, you guys aren't going to sit through two and a half hours of this, which is currently how much I've recorded. Uh, you guys aren't going to sit through two and a half hours, I promise you that. Because I am a merciful god. As gracious as I am handsome, and therefore it will be cut down to two hours and fifteen minutes. You're welcome. You are welcome. Please... Hold your gratitude. It embarrasses me. Just know that you are welcome. And it's fine. And you're welcome. Don't even worry about it. You are welcome. You're so welcome. God, you go in there to eat and you go blind. Because it's so fucking bright in there. I know it says lit 50%, but that is so much brighter than a room would otherwise be. Uh, requesting you build a monument to honor her brother, but this is the traitor legion. Or the traitor guardsman. It's three by five in size, and we'll have the following resources. Wood. As a reward, we get some kind of small sculpture, some jade, or advanced components, some silver, or a bunch of Glitter World medicine. I mean, the Glitter World medicine looks good, and that would be quite easy to do. And we don't even have to keep it, quote unquote, not broken for any amount of time. We just have to build it. Which means I could then immediately turn the building into something else. So, yeah, fuck it. Free medicine. Well, not free, but very close to being free. So it's, it's a real dinky one, isn't it? Yeah, it's super dinky. Uh, where should I put this? Not there, apparently. I'm not allowed. That's a shame. That was like the perfect spot. But, oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Why did it disappear? Did someone haul it? Someone's hauling it. Could you have waited for me to pick a location before you started moving it, you asshole? Thank you. It occurs to me it's not even going to be a building, it's just going to be an arrangement of walls and floors. So it'll just look nice, I suppose, never mind the fact it was commissioned by traitors. It's fine. Now zone, stockpile, this, storage, critical, clear all, bonk bonk, raw resources. That will fill up over time, it sure fucking will. And that means that this, which has, you know, cold air going through it, will be able to just be filled with, um, like, animal carcasses and meals, and it will just, and it will stay cold, it'll be fine. I might not even need to expand that after a certain point, because it'll probably be fine. So it's always an option I have. But if we don't expand it, it will remain at around, like, it seems to be averaging two degrees to, like, minus two degrees. 
which is good enough. And we're currently in the height of summer as well. Once autumn rolls around, it will be cold. So like, you know, the settlement as a whole is going quite well, like it, it's a decent settlement, but our defenses are pathetic, which is what's really concerning me. Because if anyone attacks us and like properly attacks us, we are in huge trouble. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Kill, them, kill nature, just kill nature, just fucking kill nature. What has nature ever done for me? Huh? Uh, does nature make money? I don't think it does. I don't think it's made me a cent since I got here. So what do I care? Oh, you're busy vomiting. On the food. <laughs> Roab! 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 I want all of you to look at this image right now. And tell me what's wrong with it. <laughs> I want you to tell me what's wrong with it. I want to draw your attention to the space to his left and behind him and to his right. And I want you to tell me what's wrong with this image. <laughs> You fuck! You complete waste of space! What the fuck do you- <sighs> I'm calm. Oh, I'm a pre- I don't know if you guys, guys have noticed, I don't know if you've watched a couple of my videos. I'm a pretty calm guy. Um, I- Hello. Oh, Ancient Danger. Okay, well we want to stay the fuck away from that then. That. Yeah, that giant foreboding building. We want to not go in there. Okay. What was I saying? Yeah, I'm pretty chill. And I really adapt to things well, you know. But Roab's a fucking dickhead, I don't know if you've noticed. This is a shame, because he's actually one of the most talented people in the colony. I assume he has, like, gut, gut worms? Yeah, he has gut worms. Fuck. We should set up a hospital. Yeah, 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 we should set up a hospital of some kind. That would be a good idea. <gasps> but we could put the medicine in here! Ooh, Foreman has an idea. Medicine. Then, right, yeah, this is where it gets good. We'll need to build it. Well, hospitals need to be nice anyway, right? Well, they don't need to be, but it helps if they're nice because then people won't break as a result of having unfortunate things happen to them. So if we just make a nice big hospital, and fill it with beds. You know, for people to fucking rest in. Uh, and then, you know, that's several problems solved in one go. But if we have the medicine in here and the hospital here, then if anyone needs to be treated, it's just bam, bam. Get, get the medicine straight to them. No delays. It will work out excellently. God damn it, it is so hard being an optimizational genius. To be a master of optimization, it's tricky, ladies and gentlemen. It's a hard life and a lonely life for no one truly understands how important it is or how impressive it is. And they will shun you like they shunned my dear friend Birdly, who, as we all know, is exceptionally intelligent. But it's a life that must be lived by someone, at least. Ambrosia Sprout, we don't need that. All those, they're slowing people down. It is stupid how much I realize that like, oh yeah, what you should do is arrange things to be... That scared the fucking shit out of me. I actually jumped in my fucking chair. Oh my god, my fucking chest. Orcs. They'll prepare for a while and then attack. Well, let's leave it for now. There's three of them. Chopper boy. A 34-year-old chopper boy, a 26-year-old chopper boy. I haven't really been keeping up with my barricades, so there's not a decent fortified position for us to attack them from. They've also picked a great time to do this because it's raining. I hope Armadon, Armadon, I hope he's feeling pretty confident in his um, melee combat capabilities. How good are his melee combat capabilities? Not great. He is a brawler, but he's not, that doesn't, he, he's not, hmm. We're going to want to run an operation on them as it were we're gonna want to we want to get up on them and then shoot at them before they have a chance to do anything you know i think that's gonna be the plan here but hey something 40k finally happened and it scared the fucking crap out i can't stress how much that terrified me it did not need to be that loud what's your problem why are you so slow food poisoning oh well yes that will do it you have a gastro analyzer what is oh that's in his nose you have a bionic stomach, what is your excuse? Dumbass. 
Okay, well, we're not going to be able to travel too far then, are we? Or fucking Galeatron's never going to get there. Now, in the, in the universe of 40k, orcs have been known to shrug off wounds from weapons such as last guns, bolters, heavy bolters, plasma guns, plasma cannons, probably. I, mean, I wouldn't say they shrug them off, but they've survived these attacks, I should say. Um, Vicky has a bow, a short bow, and it's a very, 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 very ordinary bow. The good news is that we do outnumber them, and that's rare. We need to keep the refugees safe. Because, uh, which one? One of them's the leader, and if they die, the other one will flip. And if enough of them die, the rest will flip. And considering there's only two of them, I have come to the logical conclusion that if one of them dies, the other will flip. So we need to make sure that doesn't happen. Otherwise, I'd bring them with us and use them as fucking meat fodder. You know, hold them in place while the other shoot them. But we can't do that. So, it's moot. Oh, fuck, they're beginning their assault. We need to pick an area where we are, actually, is just fine. Not much cover. Plenty of area for them to cover. We are kind of hoping that they're going to come for us in a very specific way. I don't know how durable these guys are. I've never fought an orc in RimWorld before. I hope you're feeling especially accurate there, dead. Oh, oh, that was good. Oh, that's good. Okay, uh, Almadin, you should get ready around here and go after him. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, he's fleeing. Take him out. Nice. Good job. Wow. Yeah, you guys clean the fuck up. X. Fuck. You see this shit? You see my boys? Just do it. Now, do orcs... Do orcs do in this game what they... Wow, he got shot the fuck out. Do orcs in this game do what um, orcs do in, in 40k? As in, do they turn into more orcs? Because if they do, we're going to need to burn these bodies. Which means we're going to need a uh, crematorium. Which really... It's kind of a useful thing that you should have anyway, but we don't have any blocks. Bollocks. Ah, first bit of action. Hey, that was pretty good. Ah, chopper. Chopper's a general term given to any orc close combat weapon, typically heavy swords and axes. Slugger boys are always armed with a slugger and chopper, at least until they save up enough teeth to buy something better, like a shooter. There is little finesse to a chopper, as most are little more than sharpened pieces of scrap metal which have been roughly shaped into something resembling a sword or axe. There are, however, more advanced choppers, often taking the form of a crude chainsword. These are all correct things that I just read. Fucking Christ, watch where you're shooting that thing, oh my god. He's just there trying to eat his fucking dinner and a fucking auto-rifle bullet comes straight through the wall and, well, that's the end of Galeatron, isn't it? Yeah, we're out of wood because he's still doing this because he's throwing up all over the rice plants and he hasn't harvested this all yet. Oh. Oh, it hurts my soul, like, in my spine. It's like back pain in my soul, you know? You know what I mean? You know how I'm feeling? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. Fuck. <laughs> Spent a lot of my life just saying, fuck. Who threw up in the dining area? It's supposed to be a nice place. I'm hoping to get that geothermal power plant up before winter starts because when winter starts, we're going to have to build a lot of fucking heaters, which means we're going to need a lot of fucking power, which means we could really use a reliable source of it that isn't fed by wood, which I just realized we don't have any wood. And in two days, that will run out. Okay, well. Galeatrin better hurry up on that fucking rice then, huh? Oh, God, no poisoning. Oh, God, Bosley fell over because he's a wimp, isn't he? Yeah, which means, um... Even the slightest inconvenience will cause him to be downed. Grow up, I need you to get better at this. Which I guess he is, just really fucking slowly. And the worst part is, is he might not even stay. How long have the guys got before they go? Five, uh, they depart in 13 days. We've still got time. Hopefully they ask to join. Because if they don't ask to join, then... <sighs> kind of back where we started, really. Arguably with more stuff, but... Four people? Not good. Oh no, Vicky threw up. 
space right what oh fucking what oh i wish the game would fucking tell me when shit like this happens finish building that jesus christ fucking oh my god mm. there it's done now get down there and fucking go oh, fucking fix it he's already doing it well good faster also thank you it took him so long to harvest that rice that more rice is now on the way <laughs> at least he's cutting some wood now you motherfuckers god damn it no F fuck go take him out then i guess he's in there being a pain jesus fucking christ god damn it not helpful yeah, he's fucking down, isn't he? Because he's an absolute wuss. Well, that's his prison cell now. Capture him. We'll conscript him and he'll fucking like it. If you destroy that thing, I'm going to be livid. Oh my god. There we go, he's dead. Fuck him. <sighs> Idiot. He's capturing. She don't need to do nothing. She's good. Well, that was what I feared, but at the very least, we're getting one fucking colonist out of it. He was stabbed with a chainsaw. That's, uh, that's pretty rough. And in the process, it cracked his ribcage. That's pretty rough. The bad news is, our cook's gone now. The good news is, he made 55 meals before he died, so, hey, that's good. You can't say it's all bad, because actually, sometimes, it's only mostly bad. Oh, good, more food poisoning. Oh, great, good. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, fuck's sake. Fuck you, Rob. His last fucking axe before dying was to give us food poisoning. Probably taking a dump in the food. The good news is, is that Bosley is so pathetic is that he is unlikely to ever do a fucking prison break because even the slightest bit of pain causes him to collapse. The bad news is, is that makes him fairly useless. At least the hospital's set up now. That's good. Happy with that. That's something. That's more than nothing. Everything's progress. Mm. We're almost halfway towards geothermal power. Yay. You botched the... Oh my god. That's fucking... I just... Every time I see botched construction, my fucking blood pressure does a tiny spike. Every goddamn time. How am I still alive? I think I'm going to leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. I have been recording for three hours and 20 minutes. Ah, my eyes hurt. And my throat hurts. And I've got a slight headache. Because I don't usually record that long, usually. I think the maximum I tend to go for is about two hours. I think Darkest Dungeon recently went longer, but, uh, you know, sometimes you got to pack it in. Not a lot has happened, admittedly, but to be honest, I've just been having fun playing RimWorld because I like it. Um, Let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoy this, because if you do enjoy it, then I'll be inclined to keep going. But if you don't, then I'll just continue. I'll just play this in my own time and I'll save channel stuff for something else. Because um, I'm really interested. I'm really fascinated. I want to get in this proper and see what else is here and see what's in store and see what's going on. But, you know, if you guys enjoy it, then I'll wait and I'll record it. And, you know, we'll experience it together. But if you don't give a fuck, you truly don't care, then I'll just play it in my own time and enjoy it then. Because this is usually my recreational game that I play to relax at the end of the day anyway. So if you guys aren't interested in this, then I can just do that and not worry about it. But it's entirely up to you and I'm happy to wait. It's raining. I don't care. I'm happy to wait and just do it on the show if you guys want to see it. But let me know what you think. And if I hear absolutely nothing, well, I guess that also answers the question, doesn't it? Because <laughs> pretty sure no one's interested then. But I digress, I'm rambling, thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time, and... Fuck man, this, uh, this Imperial Guard garrison is a bit fucking meek. I hope it grows a little bigger, and if it does, I hope I see you there. Toodles, goodbye.